This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is your one-stop platform to create and run a beautiful online presence and start your business. No, lovely, lovely outfit. It's fine. Right, sartorial elegance aside, we are back. Welcome back to TGTV and welcome back to the channel. Mr. I know, I've had two in a row now, uh, a couple in a row. I know, look at that, you're, you're becoming a regular on the channel. So this evening, Alex, what we are doing is, you don't even know what we're doing yet. Not yet. What we are doing, we are churning a video, but this is an important video. This is a very important video. All my videos are important, but this one's particularly important. Is it particularly? Yeah. Is that because I'm here, or just not, that's not really part well, of it? Yeah. I'm actually a chauffeur. I'm just actually taking you to the destination, aren't I, really? Mm, 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 mm. Yes, you are. So this evening, what we're going to do is we're going to do a garage update, ladies and gents. Which is important, you need to do one daily, really, but... Um, <laughs> I actually do. Once a the, week will do, I guess, but the, yeah, daily's the, probably ideal. The state of the uh, comings and goings. So, um, we're doing a garage update because some things have left, some things are coming in, uh, some things are actually off somewhere, other places in bits. I have some cars out at the moment in bits. It's chaos, basically. I need to update you all because there's been a lot going on. I've been at work and I've, I've failed to keep you all uh, abreast of it. Abreast. You've been spreading your seeds and your, your, your car seeds. Not on the channel. Why don't we take the left in here, boy? To your left, checking blind spots as you do so. Yep, so we're off anyway. We're gonna go and uh, find my F12. I had to put my F12 on charge somewhere, so we're gonna go find my F12. Uh, we're actually quite a long distance from the F12. We've got quite quite a drive. Yeah, we have a um, journey ahead. I fueled up luckily. This, this thing drinks the stuff, so but we will get there. We'll get it on a full tank. It's only we about will. ten miles, or whatever. So. so we're in Alex's C63S. Anyway, Alex has got a rather lovely carbon interior now, which I'm actually gonna show you by the magic of YouTube. I can actually show you this. Yeah. Uh, we've got, uh, it's not, oh yeah, look at that, lovely stuff there, boy. So we've got carbon interior. I quite like it, you know, because I think, I mean, obviously, it's, it's a wrap, but I think it is looks... Is that wrapped? Yeah, it's wrapped. That's cash. Did Dub Customs really, do that? Dub Customs did. It's I, really There's a lot there. of people on my channel like, don't do it, it looked terrible, but I actually think it looks really I would have really been cool. in that camp. Would you have been saying, you'd have said don't do it? Yeah, I would have told you not to bother, but that actually looks sick. It Very well done. The wood you got below it was a wood, wood grain effect, and I, I realized I hated it, so I'm no, kind wood, of glad to see the Wood's not cash. No. And you've got uh, Alcantara on the steering wheel it's as well. It's Alcantara on it, so actually what they've done is they've wrapped left. over the top of um, over the top of the leather and stuff, and basically what you're left with is a strong, thick, hellish steering wheel, which is what <laughs> we like. <laughs> it's perfect, honestly. It's grippy, you know, for all that race driving that we do around London, it's yeah. very necessary and required a racing Alcantara steering wheel. All Absolutely. Those, uh, ruddy traffic jams. Yeah, exactly. The, uh, Dodging the... all the mopeds and whatnot. Uh, they can be right or left. quite pesky. Uh, right, please. Thank you. They can be pesky, but I keep my windows up so they can't touch me, it's fine. Wonderful. Right, we're, we're just going to. Um, we've got a while to go, so. Catch up with us shortly. I'm going to jump in the F12 and they're going to take you round. I'm going to go and find my garage. It's going to be a long drive, but luckily for you, we're not going to have to do much, so put the fingers. Right then, as is customary with garage videos, garage update, what are you doing? I'm just like hiding over your shoulder, kind of. Well, you can see you. Can't see me, yeah. Either get out of shot or stay in it. Right, yeah? I'm out. No, no, stay in it. We'll have you in. You happy there? I'm happy. I'll stay still. No, you don't stay still. <laughs> uh, the editing's a mess anyway. I probably left swear words in it. Anyway. As is customary with garage update videos, I'm going to go around one by one. And the first car on the list to update you whether or not it's coming or going and what on earth is happening to it is my F12. So at this point, I'm going to turn the camera around. So the F12 is there, just sat there, just look at it. The F12, ladies and gentlemen, you'll all be relieved to hear, is staying in the garage I'm for the foreseeable. It should be staying. You've just been out on this for your video, haven't we? We, we went through some uh, some home truths, some nonsenses, some whatnots, and some uh, hells. Yeah. This is amazing. This is, this is timeless, I think. This is actually a timeless car. It is. I would cry if this one. Do you know why, Alex? Pin and Farina, lad. I don't know if that's going to focus. Pin and Farina. That's cash. The new ones aren't. They're Ferrari in house design. So that's it's why this one. Carbon Everest. Well, this is actual carbon hell. Yeah, <laughs> carbon hell. You heard it here first. 
So this car is staying. This is gonna be a long-termer for me. I'm gonna hold on to this car. There's gonna be loads and loads of content with it, and I will be doing an exhaust on it very, very soon. I'm currently looking into options because I don't want it boomy in the cabin. I don't want it sounding like a race car. I want it retaining its refined, kind of a docile character at low speed. I do not want to ruin it. I don't want to chaff it. It's not gonna get a wing. It's not gonna get splitters or anything like that. It's not gonna get 44 inch wheels. None of that nonsense. It's gonna remain uh, a classic, iconic car. It's not gonna get tinted windows either. It's not gonna get tinted tail lights. It's not gonna get a carbon lip or any nonsense on it whatsoever. It's gonna be left as it is, but just open it up a little bit more because I feel like the, uh, the V12 is a little bit suffocated. Would you not agree? I think so. At times? I think this is, it's perfect mm. as it is. And this spec as well, you just don't see them in this colorway. Like there isn't any, I haven't seen, ah, oh, that's locked. You don't see any on the market with the dark red leather on the dark gray like this with these wheels. These are all important wheels as well. You cannot get the big five spoke wheels on these, can you Alex? They just no, look like. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of these. I've never been in one before. I've seen a lot of them on the road. I generally have not seen one in a more like tasteful spec. It's yeah, it's cool. Classy and it's I didn't spec it, story of my life. Perfect. It's perfect. Right, I love it, and I also like the chrome front grille. I've had a lot of people telling me off about the grille at the front saying to de-chrome it, but I just think, actually, I mean, look at that. You see that coming towards you. That's just good. The chrome grille just sets it off, I think. I think if you de-chrome it, it loses that detail in there, and that's, you know, that's part of the design. That's part of what Pininfarina intended for the car, so absolutely not. And it also matches the wheels. The, the chromed front edge, matches the detailing on the wheels around here. It's all very nicely done, and to be honest with you, if you're telling me to modify it cosmetically, go to hell. Hello. No, yep. I'm with you, because I, I, I've grown on my C63. Yes. I want it gone, but mm. on this car it works. I wouldn't touch it. If it was mine, I'd be like, no way. Like, very well. It sits very nicely. Wonderful stuff. The only thing that would possibly change, actually, Alex, that, that said, yeah. this here, you can get that in carbon. I did have that on my last one, and that's just, be nice it looks a little bit of a plastic. Uh, I'm not gonna wrap it. I'm probably gonna go and speak to the guys at Eurospares and get that, See, I'm get probably, that done I'm somewhere. I'm a cheap version, I'd probably end up wrapping that. <laughs> you would. <laughs> you, they would hate you for that. Absolutely hate you. Absolutely, probably a couple, not, a couple of grand maybe for that. Who knows? Actually, come around here. Walk with me, walk with me. The other thing I may do is carbon fog light. If I did the carbon at the front, I would do carbon at the back here on this. And I did the carbon fog light on the last car. Again, I would have to speak to uh, the guys at Eurospares and see whether they can get me a sensible price. But that is pretty much all I would do. On that rather uh, dragged out note, it's time to go and find car number two. Let's go. Right then, change of location. The C63S is here by magic. I don't even know how that's happened or where you've even been this evening. Anywho, car number two, let's go. Car number two then is my Carrera 4S. What a car, I love this thing. It's great, it's staying in the garage, uh, medium to long term. It's just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. It's a good one. It's a good old boy, this one. This. Yeah, it investment. is a good investment, it's actually. It's a car and a passion car all in one. It is. It is. It doesn't fly on YouTube. Not that many people really care about it, I'll be honest with you. It's not something that gets big, big views, but the people that are there watching it, they do care. And those are people that are actually looking to actively go out and buy one. And I would say the market has actually moved on the C4S since I did a video on it. And I know this sounds extraordinarily arrogant, um, but even Darren Gibson, the little on the screen, my finance guy, he actually put six or seven through off the back of my first video with this car alone. And six or seven cars on Auto Trader alone, manual cars, that mops up quite a lot of them. So that is enough to push up the value. So these have gone up quite a lot. Um, I paid about 25 odd grand for this. But I think for a low mileage, nice manual one in a, in a good color combo, uh, you're looking at sort of 30, 32 now. So they have moved a little bit and I suspect they probably might continue to creep up over the years as Porsche has now officially designated this car in their classics department. So this is now a classic Porsche. There we go. Mate, I, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. It's good, good. Should we, should we do car number three? Let's do number three. Car number three then is the i3S. Uh, and as you've probably already seen in one of my other videos, it's still got a flat <laughs> tire. Hell, it is, it is hell. Because tires are made to have air in them, aren't they? Yeah. they? I mean, ideally, at least, at least having three out of four is a start, but you would ideally want four or four. Yeah, so um, that has actually been flat for a few days, so I'm not neglecting the car, Alex. Sure, though, mate, this, this electric car makes all of your others much better. It does, and I use this daily. I offset my carbon footprint, is that the right phrase? Yeah, I think, I think it is the right phrase. It's made of recyclable stuff inside as well, Alex. Do you it know is, that? it is. And you know, people say, all right, having all these big powerful cars is, is badness and lots of naughtiness. 
And mm -hmm. I do kind of, yeah, I get the idea we should be environmentally friendly, but if we're actually doing our daily transport in these kind of cars, it means that I, I do feel it means we can enjoy, you know, our passions, our hobbies. That is, uh, that is a lovely bit of, yeah, a lovely bit of prose there, Alex. Yeah. Delightful. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I did very much. Thank but you, you make a valid point because people have a go at me for driving sort of petrol, uh, guzzling cars around the place. And I actually, I drove my golf to work a couple of times in the city and I actually felt kind of a moral, um, a moral kind of uh, a gut feeling. I was like, why am I sitting here burning fuel and, and putting emissions into the air? These when are I, cool cars. They are. They are These really are cool. actually cool cars. It's very nice. I think it's a real I, I want to see more of these on the road. I actually want to see that. People are like, oh, you're a petrol head. No, but it's, it's good. As part of the collection, this is a good car to have. But I think as a standalone car, if you're a petrol head, uh, I mean, pet, well, the phrase petrol head is self explanatory. But I think what is vital is getting the S. It's just got that wider stance. It's got a bit more of an aggressive body kit at the front. You get the bigger wheels. It's just a bit cooler. I think the standard i3 does look, look a little bit like a kind of a roller skate. Yeah. But this one does have that kind of little, little bit of extra. I, really yeah. like it. I think it's really cool. Yeah. I think it's a cool car. So I was working with Vines BMW Mini and they basically said, which car, which car would you want to work with us on? And I went for this. They were quite surprised and they were like, are you sure? Are you sure? Because you know, we know you like your supercars and whatnot. And I said, yeah, I actually want one of these. I really, really want it. And it's actually one of the most enjoyable, most relaxing, uh, kind of usable cars I've ever had. This is one of being the biggest surprise of my kind of uh, yeah. car driving uh, career. It's because if you're actually enjoying stuff, you're going out, you've got time to enjoy a car, you can enjoy the noise, driving around. But actually, a lot of the time, we're commuting, we're going to and from. It's a tool. Actually, it's a tool. I get in it and it's silent, just turns on silently and uh, yeah, it's, it soothes it you. It doesn't shout at you, it doesn't upset you or people going around, you can just smoothly disappear into mm. your workplace, no problem. Absolutely. Right then, eco rants aside, it's now time for car number, what are we on? Four. Car number four, let's go. Car number four then, ladies and gentlemen, look at it. My Aston Martin Vantage AMR. This is going to start. Oh, I actually forgot to update you. Uh, the i3s is going to stay into the garage uh, probably until about mid next year. So there's going to be a lot of i3s content coming. I might drag race it against some stuff. There's going to be carnage. However, Aston Martin Vantage AMR. It is here. It's still alive. I love it, and it's just great. It's absolutely great. As I've touched on in an earlier video, this car is going to have some uh, transformation work done to it. Uh, it's going in for sort of part of the kind of the GT4 program with a company called Bamford Rose. They're going to do lots and bits. Bob's to it. I'm not going to chav it up, um, but they actually do a lot of stuff for uh, the kind of the race cars for Aston Martin program. So, really cool bunch. They know their stuff, and this is going to get a hell of a lot. Of, this is going to get a hell of a lot of love from them. And it's going to transform the car, but not in a chavy way. You'd be hard pressed to tell anything externally once it's done, but it's going to transform the way it drives. Not that I really think it needs any. I really like it at the moment. It's perhaps on the soft side. So there's some exciting stuff coming with this car. Again, this is long time in the garage. Naturally aspirated V8, classic Vantage shape. This is an absolute winner in the halo color scheme. This is going nowhere in value. In, well, in the current climate, this is really, really nice. This is a good car to be in. It's absolutely fine. It's not gonna make me rich any day, but it's certainly a hell of a lot better than being anything made by Lamborghini or McLaren. Time then for car number five. <whistles> Car number five then is my Defender. I touched on this very recently in a video and I wound a lot of you up by suggesting that I might perhaps end up with the new Defender. That, of course, was an utter fabrication. I am not gonna get the new Defender. I do like the new Defender. I'm not totally against change. I like modernization, um, but there's just something about this car I absolutely love. So there is no way in hell I'm gonna be getting the new Defender, I don't think, anytime soon. This will be staying in my garage for a long, long time to come. I love it, uh, it's rudimental, it's rustic, and I love it. So it'll be staying in the garage, there's gonna be lots more stuff coming with it. I don't probably use it as much as I should, but now it's coming into winter, it's gonna be more Defender content coming. And I was mooting recently about changing the wheels to the kind of the 70th anniversary diamond cut type finish. Let me know what you think of that. That's one of the only things I wanted to do and get rid of the tire writing as well, because it's pointless. Right then, time now for car number six. Car number six then is the Jimny. Everyone seems to think that the Jimny is gone. Everyone seems to think there's some sort of conspiracy that the Jimny is kind of, you know, uh, it's gone back to Suzuki on some sort of paid deal. No, actually, it hasn't. It's still here. It's not being used, that said, like at all. But the Jimny is still here. We still have the Jimny. Can I oh, tell you something? Yes. I'm not being really honest with you. Yep. I don't understand the whole Jimny thing. I'm really sorry I didn't get it. I mean, I don't know, to be honest, either. They're just cool. Yeah, I mean, it is cool. Suzuki's are cool. I mean, you know, I had, my parents had Grand Vitara's growing up. Very Grand Vitara's are rich, especially with a wide arch kit on them. Yeah, it's very lovely. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure about the Jimny. 
I really like this car, it's full of character and for the money I just think it's great. It's got retro looks and it's just one of those like rare cars, it's just super desirable. That however... Yeah, it's good. Well. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Me and Archie barrel around it. The truth be told though, Archie and I don't have anything against the Jimny, we really like it, but it just doesn't get any use. I mean, I'm at work the whole time, uh, and then when I go out and want to go for a hoon on the weekend, I just don't get in the Jimny, and there's nothing against it, I just don't use it that much, and I wish I did. If I didn't work full time, I'd be in it the whole time pooling around town. Um, I do think it's cool though, every time I walk past it, I'm just like, yeah, I do like it. It's a good, it's a good old boy. That said, we may, 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 put it up for sale. So if you do want it, slide in my Instagram DMs. Um, I think it's only probably got about a thousand miles in it. Obviously it will be clean. Uh, and Archie and I may sign under the bonnet. Actually, no, we won't, because that will just render it valueless, because <laughs> everyone hates us. But anyway, if you do want it, slide in my Instagram DMs, because at the, end, at the moment, the parking space it's in is probably costing more than the, the finance is costing. And also, yeah, that's a very important point. We didn't actually get given this by Suzuki. Archie and I paid for this, and, and actually, yeah, we financed it. So the shame of it. Right then, time now for car number seven. An admission at this point, ladies and gentlemen, the seventh and eighth car in my garage, or actually not in my garage at the moment. Uh, the 912, my 1966 Porsche, my uh, green, uh, the bane of my existence actually at the moment, is still getting work done. Uh, the work is really extensive to be honest. It's even more extensive than my last update video about it. Um, I've just been faced with a bill that I'm probably gonna do a video on very, very soon, um, but it's life changing, so, um, that is still in the garage whilst I look down the back of the sofa and decide how on earth I'm going to pay for that. I'm going to come to you for some cash as well. Yeah. I'm going to like do a GoFundMe. Go with someone bigger than me. Hell. Um, so the 912 is in the garage. There's an update coming with that car very, very soon. It is not bad news though. I will get that car sorted. I'll put the money in and it's still nowhere near as much as... It's not going to mean a false economy basically. It's going to... It's going to be a good idea to fix it. What the money I'm going to spend on it, it's still going to be worth more than that. So I'm happy. I don't care. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it was hell. I didn't even look under the car before I bought it. So this is what happens when you buy classics blind. That's car number seven. Car number eight, obviously the car that you all want to see on my channel, the Pista. The Pista is in getting the exhaust done. So tomorrow morning, or Saturday morning, what day are we on? We are on today, yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday, only three days out. On Saturday morning, I'm going to go and see the Pista because it is in bits, it's getting an exhaust fitted. The exhaust lands tomorrow. Thursday, it's an in-canal system. I'm really, really excited about that. So the piece that is in work as well, that is in bits, uh, but in a slightly less dilapidated way than the 912 is. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that garage update. I also want to end on the fact that I am also dropping my new daily and a new supercar on the channel probably within the next two weeks, both of them. So do stay tuned for that. Now then, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this video was brought to you by Squarespace. If you are thinking of setting up your own online business, Squarespace is the perfect place to start. They've got templates you can use that will make it easy to find the right format at a couple of clicks. It's an all-in-one platform, so that means that you can easily claim your very own URL and create a custom website very efficiently. There's loads of cool things on there like customizable galleries to show your content in a unique and kind of engaging way. There's also email campaign setups and there is also an events function as well. Loads of cool stuff on there. Personally, I've used it with Emoji Fresh and also LDNM as well. Uh, as you all know, I'm into e-commerce and I've been developing a couple of things in the background, which I'll show you all very, very soon. But yeah, for someone like me that isn't amazing at tech, Squarespace is actually really, really easy to set up your own kind of online uh, side hustle if you like, which I'm very, very big on, as many of you will know. I will leave all the links below. Once you are ready to launch and get going, it is only $10 a month. As I say, all the links will be below. It's a temporary offer, so you've got to be quick. Get in the pot. If you are setting up a side hustle or maybe you're setting up your own new career and your own business and it's going to be your full-time thing, check out the links below. There's an exclusive discount. There's all sorts of stuff exclusive for you guys. It's going to be there for a limited time. So if you are even vaguely interested, get in the mix, join now, and use it when you're ready. Anyway, without further further procrastination, that's it. See you later, guys. Yeah, ciao for now. Make sure you do subscribe to him on his channel. We have been waffling in the F12 this evening, have we not? We've had a, we've had a good bit of fun, actually, yeah. Waffling and fun. Ah, waffling and fun. You know, they're not mutually exclusive. See you later.